And new today at 4 o'clock, police tell WRAL they've now identified several people involved in this shootout outside of a convenience store and gas station just off I-85 in Henderson. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Dan Haggerty. Customers, you can see, ducking for cover, trying to get out of the way, escaping this rapid gunfire. WRAL's Matt Tallhelm is there live to show us what happened, Matt. Yeah, Dan, those bullets burst through the glass here outside the Gate City food store. This was in broad daylight Saturday afternoon. More of those bullets flew across the street into the apartments you see over here toward those apartments. This was just 20 seconds of terror, all of it caught on surveillance camera video. This looks like any typical gas station stop. Cars pulling up to fill up. But look closely as this guy in a blue jacket gets out of the white car parked at the pump with a long gun tucked in his pants. As he walks toward the Gate City food store, the gunfire begins. From another angle, you can see him jump back as a barrage of bullets shatter the glass door. He then whips out the gun and returns fire, along with another man who gets out of the white car gun at the ready. They fire toward West Andrews Avenue as a blue SUV speeds away, and a man in a dark sedan at a nearby pump runs in the same direction. A customer trying to escape the store falls to the ground to crawl away. Cars driving by turn around to avoid the shootout. The bullets flew across the street, piercing the side of the North Henderson Heights apartments. Neighbors described dropping to the ground as they heard the rapid pops of gunfire. One woman tells me she pushed her grandkids onto the floor behind a couch to shield them from the chaos. None of them wanted to talk with us on camera out of fear for their safety. But they want this violence to stop before an innocent bystander gets caught in the crossfire. And good news, and amazingly, no one was hurt in all of this. However, Henderson's police chief does tell us one of the men involved did have some minor injuries uh, to his feet. Now, the chief tells me investigators watched those exact videos we showed you, and they were able to obtain some warrants against several people involved in this. But the police chief would not say if those people are arrested yet or if there's any ongoing threat to the community here. Dan? Shocking for so many reasons. Matt Tallhelm reporting live in Henderson. Thank you.